If you want to score a business loan or a loan, you got to know where they report to, how they report, and how you show up in those reporting agencies. The really cool thing is you can start picking where you want to get your loan based on whether that's Experian, whether that's Equifax, whether that's TransUnion, Dun & Bradstreet, or Paynet which is another one, I'm gonna give you in this video kind of a secret hack and places you can go that reports different bureaus that you may be just fine with and you can select which bureau you wanna to go to because we pull them off of bureaus that I see from people that get loans every day. So I know what business lines are actually reporting on those credit bureaus. So it'll be good for you. These are hacks, maybe tricks that you can say to get you $50,000 in funding for your business and a hack on how to do that, where to go to do that. Now, now it's important that your pay net, you look at that score. Pay net. People overlook that. It can't be understated. Many business products are offered and institutions like Trust Institution and Citizen Bank, they use pay net as a critical factor in their evaluation product. And I'm going to talk here about the pay net as well as Experian, places you can go and get credit cards and credit lines and loans right now for $50,000. These institutions, they examine your financial history. They focus on that financial accounts, loans, and lines of credits and business cards usage it's not that complicated it could be just one or two items that you have that can help you with this score this means that you're don't have to be so concerned about your Dun and Bradstreet or your Experian I'm gonna show you how to get around some of that and use some of those net 30 instead of that now what's really crazy about this particular scoring model is that it's a business credit reporting agency that has a database of 22 million contracts with small business loans leases and credit lines so these different businesses report to pay net score, which you probably may not have ever heard of. Hopefully you heard it here first. That way you can use PayNet to your advantage to be able to get the money that you want. I'm going to break it down in this video and tell you where to go. In recent times, I've noticed a lot of banks taking extra steps further to use different types of business scores, particularly PayNet, to be able to help people get loans that they want to lend to that might not be as solid on other places. Now you can have a solid personal credit score and good income and good business credit still play a pivotal role role in your credit application if you don't know where they're pulling the different scores. So you want to know about the pay net. And also I got one here for Equifax, where you can look at different places and different products that you can go to. My name's Andrew. I'm here to help you get money, leverage it, and invest it. I've started 32 companies in 17 industries. You got to know how to get money and use it. That's why I'm helping you guys. Um, check out Epic 99 if you want to buy a business with me. We're doing that right now. I've started 32 of them and I've sold them and uh, I've exited five times. I'd love to do that with you 10 different programs if you need a business loan as well as 80 lenders down in the description and even 16 free stocks for just opening account also have fix and flip money if you need that you want to do some fix and flip and got some experience make sure you hit me up as well as rental property it's in the link in the description but first let's start by talking about that pay net score in the world of business the pay net score is this magical number that speaks volumes about your payment reliability which you can help create that one. Imagine if your credit score was tailored towards being just calculated with Dun & Bradstreet. This score hinges on your business past payment performance and a lot of places that are not going to use that, you'll want PayNet to be the one to go. Now, vendors in business, they usually orbit around their share of payments when it comes to Dun & Bradstreet and their allied different scoring model. Now, these trade lines that people use don't just report one payment. They are vigilant in being able to send different things about your financial reputation and keep track of those outstanding bills and those minutes bills that ends up landing in sometimes the collection realm, which can damage your score without you knowing it, which is why you want to pull all your scores everywhere. And watch them like a hawk. Here's where it gets fascinating. Dun & Bradstreet collects data from 875 partner businesses to craft that credit score and the highest score, the better the score looks in the eyes of the creditor, the better for the potential that you'll get money. So how do you get your hands on that magical number? Well, first, you're going to go to Dunn's number in Dunn and Bradstreet and be able to pull that. Then at least two suppliers report to these companies and three payments is what you're going to want to do. And voila, your credit score is born. It'll unlock lots of doors and help you uh, get the keys to the kingdom of financial trustworthy. Let's dive into the accounts without any doubt. Basically, you're going to want to check out your Equifax along with your PayNet score because you can get cards that report to Equifax like the Fuel Man MasterCard. 
which is under the Core Pay umbrella. Also, Philman MasterCard, it, which is also under that Core Pay MasterCard, is also under the umbrella. Both of them use the PayNet, making these essential for building your credit. So you want to get those so that you can do it. Another account is FMBO, which is one I have, the credit card from First National Bank of Omaha. These cards report to Equifax for the strength in your business profile. And then you've got Citizen Bank, which is also reporting your Equifax business. This information is not pulled out of thin air. It's actually ones I've seen on credit reports and looked at myself. Now, Truce business credit products, such as their business credit cards, business line of credit, uh, secure business loans, and secure business line of credit, all report to Equifax. Businesses eventually get that pay net score, but these accounts are instrumental. When you're wanting to establish your business credit, and here's the game changer, Truce offers secure loans and secure business lines of credit. Well, you know, you got to put up your own money. They're going to report it and you'll be able to create a score out of thin air by using your own money. And the great thing is you pay a little bit of interest on your money, you borrow a little bit and they'll report those payments. This means that you can utilize $10,000 in secure line of credit and promptly pay it back and they'll report $10,000 for a payment on your credit report. This is a significant boost for that pay net. It's like literally magically creating your credit report. You can actually do that with these hacks, which is incredible. Truth also offers auto vehicle loans. And again, you might be wondering, well, that doesn't. Here's the thing. Otherwise, how else are you going to build credit if you can't get access to credit? Sometimes you got to just put the money out there, borrow from yourself, and then pay yourself back and get a credit score. Then you're able to get better credit, cheaper credit, where you can walk in and get vehicles with no money down. Now, Truce offers auto loans, which report to Equifax business. They've also got different types of accounts, installment loans, security loans. They've also got lines of credit and credit cards. And it's a comprehensive approach to building your credit portfolio, you can build it yourself, like building your own house, which I say, if people aren't going to help you, then you got to build it yourself. Citizen Bank 2 is another one that has a range of credit products, including credit cards, credit lines, and business loans, all of which submit to Equifax. Now, don't forget my favorite and why I live in the United States, the SBA. They also report to Equifax business, especially enhancing that credit worthiness. Another one is National Bank of Pennsylvania. They're another one that has notable institution for PayNet business credit, as well as so many that report on that Equifax and Dun & Bradstreet, which you don't want to miss that. And of course, you should build your credit over at Dun & Bradstreet. But all these reporting agencies and knowing where they report to, strategically, you can build your business credit, help yourself get out of the trap of having everything on your personal credit, which crushes your credit score personally. So when it comes to building that leverage and getting that business, it's critical to make strategic choices, to buy your cars with a business, buy your stuff with a business, get your stuff. This is just me personally, what I do. I I've gotten everything out of my personal name so that I have nothing, nothing in my personal name when it comes to credit, zero. I have millions and millions and have pretty much an unlimited warehouse line of credit to lend you money, but they're all in a business. So think about, why would I do that? Think about that for a second. My name is Andrew Cartwright, love you.